hey guys welcome back to my channel and to a brand new vlog and actually my first vlog in quite a long time i think the last time i vlogged was back in september or october as you may know i took a little bit of time off of filming and creating uh we had a really really tough end to 2020 if you hear from instagram then you probably kind of know what it's been going on but i am now going to be back to a regular vlogging schedule and back to regular videos now that we're kind of like just sort of putting life back together and i wanted to vlog today because we have got some really really exciting things coming up we are entering sort of the next chapter in our lives and it's very scary but it's also really exciting and i think the change will just be so good for us. This is something that I haven't been ready for for a long time, but with everything that happened last year, it just, I don't know, it shifted my perspective a lot and um, I feel ready. Our news is that we are gonna be moving house. So you may know that we have lived in our lovely blue house, our apartment, for the last five years. So we moved in here in 2016 and we spent the majority of our time in Vancouver in this house. We did have a very small house when we first moved to Vancouver. It was like a junior one bed, sort of like a, a studio, like studio slash junior one bed. It was very, very small, very, very basic, but that's what we lived in when we first moved here. Then we moved to our current blue house and this house actually flooded like two months into our lease. Um, so then we moved into another house for like a few months and then we moved back in here. And what's funny is that we've lived in three different houses in our six years of being in Vancouver, and all three have basically been within a block of each other in Yaletown. Not intentional at all, it just kind of happened that way, but we love Yaletown, we love our area, we love our condo, but we are just ready for a bit of a size upgrade, We're ready to move out of the city, we wanna be somewhere a little bit quieter, somewhere close to the beach and um, we're also gonna be furnishing our new place because all the furniture in this house, as lovely as it is, it's not ours. It came with the house, our landlord has amazing taste. It's not necessarily like how we would decorate our house, but it's all super, super nice and comfy and really lovely, especially for a rental, it's so nice. But none of it is ours. So we are really excited to be able to furnish our new place. We have a place secured. So we signed the lease two days ago. We found it actually a week ago. Yeah, last Tuesday we found it it all happened very very quickly and um yeah everything has just fallen into place and we knew that it would like there was one house that we went to see back in december you might remember i posted on instagram that we were so gutted when we didn't get it but it's one of those things like when things are right they just fall into place and this has and it's all been so easy and we are moving in about three and a half weeks we're moving in the middle of february so it's all systems go. We've handed on a notice here. We are gonna be doing a bit of painting in the new house and it's really lovely and I'm gonna be doing lots of moving vlogs and um, like shopping videos and just taking you guys on this whole journey with us because it's really exciting and I wanna document it and I wanna kind of look back on this and it's just gonna kind of open up a whole new area for us of like home design and interior decor and all that sort of stuff and a new place uh, is actually a house and it has a lovely garden and it's very, very, very close to the beach. It's like one block to my favorite beach. So yeah, I'm gonna be really sad to leave our lovely blue house because this is just, it's just been our home for the last five years. We've been spent like half of our relationship here and so much of like our growth and everything we've established over the last six years, most of it has been in this house. And so I do have such an attachment to this place. Like, I don't know if any of you guys get like that with like houses, even if it's a rental, like it's been our home. So I'm gonna be really sad to leave. I'm gonna be really sad to leave Yale Town because I love this area, but it's also a really, really exciting new chapter. So what we are doing today and what we've been doing uh, for the last couple of days since we signed the lease is basically like doing loads and loads of planning. So I am like such a list girl. I love making lists. I've got my lists, I've got my spreadsheets, I've got all the things that we need to buy, I've got a list of finances and everything. Cause I wanna make sure everything's like as organized as possible and like 
the organization freak inside me just comes out when we do this sort of thing so it's very exciting so today we are going to be going to some home furniture shops we're going to go to a bunch around granville street and we're going to go to like home depot canadian tire to some of the hardware shops and then also we're going to go to ikea hopefully we have time to do all of them but i thought i would um film bits and bobs as we are out i've got my uh tape measure this is actually the heaviest tape measure ever this is my first home purchase tape measure very important um, but when we went to sign the lease the other day I um, we basically um we took loads and loads of measurements of the house so I've got like my uh, <laughs> my sketches don't laugh at me I'm being very 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 type A right now so we've got sketches of basically like all of the rooms and all of the measurements so that we can sort of like map out where like the sofa and the table and everything's gonna go and we have a list of like things that we want to buy immediately and then obviously like decorative things but we can buy that afterwards but the place is completely unfurnished and we don't have any furniture right now so we're gonna have to buy basically everything it's just gonna be a really really fun chapter for us especially because the end of last year was just so horrendous and I just I was just ready for some change I didn't want everything to go completely back to normal um, and back to how it was before like it yeah it, it's just a really good change for us so anyway I'm going to take you along today and um, hopefully we find some nice stuff okay so stop number one is to Canadian Tire I've got my list and I've been writing down all these things we've been finding we found like a really nice kettle um a toaster some knife sets and stuff like that so we're not actually going to buy anything today i hope you can hear me through my mess we're not actually going to buy anything today because we've still got a month and i don't want to have to store everything in the apartment so i've been making notes of all the nice things and then we can buy it all online and get it delivered to the house so right now we're looking at um paint colors as i mentioned we're going to be doing a little bit of decorating like the whole house needs like repainting which we're going to do before we move in and then we're also gonna do maybe a couple of like feature walls, but that will come after. So that's why I've got like some nice blues, maybe for the bedroom. Um, and we've never like chosen paint before. We've never done any of this stuff before. So it's very exciting. It's amazing how white paint can look so different. So many nice colors. This is my section, I love all the blues. Yeah, they're super cool with a nice big plant, oh, indoor no. or outside. I think this one, the birds of paradise. Yeah. Yeah, the birds of paradise look really nice in that. So we're just in uh, Home Sense right now, one of my favourite shops. We've got some really nice um, laundry baskets actually. Uh, so we're just getting some inspiration. We'll probably get a lot of our kitchen stuff from here because it's like pretty cheap. Um, but yeah, we've got lots of lovely things. These are super cool. We want to have a chest at the end of our bed. Um, and something like this would be perfect. For the living room. Dining room? Yeah. They're actually really well priced as well. Yeah. This one's really nice. <laughs> I found a doormat, which is very appropriate. <laughs> So we're just back at the car and um, we picked up some bagels. Look at all that cheese, it's just like, it's got, I've got a tuna melt and it's just covered in cheese. Um, from a, a bagel shop called Solly's, or can be and they're so good. So we went to Canadian Tire, which is really good and um, got lots of inspiration, looked at some colour charts, looked at some like uh, drill bits and all that adult stuff and then we popped into home sense and actually found a really really nice coffee table and rug so maybe it'll still be there by the time we um go to move but yeah it, it was successful so we didn't buy anything this is more of like an inspiration trip one thing we do want to look at is sofas because it's quite hard to look online and like i want to try it i want to feel it so we're going to head over to ikea now 
I love Ikea and have a look there is a sofa I've seen there that actually looks really decent and not that expensive and um, I've seen lots of pictures of it and like seen it styled in homes from like bloggers and stuff and it actually looks all right so we'll just see I always love going to Ikea it's always a fun trip um, and yeah that is the plan for today we are here at Ikea look how nice you look today get in with this this flannel on yeah you look lovely <laughs> the dog that we don't have <laughs> I always love how they set up like whole like kitchens and bedrooms and you literally feel like you're in a little apartment don't you but getting lots of ideas, we've been looking at sofas. We're gonna look a little bit more in a sec. We got distracted by this cool. kitchen. Black and white school. What is? That's a speaker. A speaker? An outdoor speaker. For outdoors? Oh cool. Just now we have an outdoors, which is That's proper cool. Crazy. Cool. As is this. The lantern school is that, yeah. It can be like, hello? Raccoons. <laughs> <laughs> so at this new house, we've been told by the landlord because there is a little pond and apparently raccoons often will come and um, wash their food in the pond <laughs> which is crazy because it's like a little water feature so apparently they drink out of that and they wash their food in the pond and then eat it which will be so cool <laughs> these are really cool so we want to get this kind of flooring for the patio area to cover it but you just lay these down and click them together and they look really really good what do you think you like them? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Are you looking at the shark or the sofa? The shark. Oh. <laughs> this whole setup is so cute. With the lights and the fairy lights and the little table. That table is actually really nice. I actually really want to put that table yeah. over the area as well. So I've Getting so many ideas. I really like this lampshade for my office because we are going to have a spare room slash office for me. As of right now, the lampshade in there is like I don't even know how old. It's the most grandma lampshade ever. So I want a nice one like that. Maybe that's a little bit too big, but something like that would be really cool. Good afternoon. So we have just popped to the house. Uh, we've met our landlord and we met a painting company there to get a quote to see how much that's going to cost because we do need to do a little bit of repainting and it needs a little bit of a refresh. Um, so we've done that and it was nice to see the house again, nice to see it on a sunny day and we're just having a little bit of a stroll around our new neighbourhood. It's very very residential and very quiet and you can hear birds and there's loads of ducks and squirrels and it's it's just very residential isn't it? <laughs> Such a change to Yaletown. Um, obviously Yaletown is like it's not super super busy but it's still kind of like the city. It's still quite built up, lots of apartment buildings and it's quite you know just just busier than here basically. So anyway we're just having a walk around our new hood <laughs> and um, now this afternoon we're going to head over to a few more furniture shops. We're going to head over to the ones in South Granville and pop back to Canadian Tire and I think we're going to buy the uh, kettle and toaster that we saw so that'll be our first like official house purchase but yeah it's going to be a good day. We can't use them though right. until we move in. We can't, oh damn it, we can't, oh no we, no, we can't, we have to save it. Chris and it when we get in the house and we're fully, first brew. We're fully in there, huh? Have you first brew? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that first brew is going to be amazing. <laughs> it's really funny how things work out because there was a house literally just, just here on the right that we really liked and we wanted and it was a laneway house, so basically like its own standalone house. But there is now a massive construction site in front of it because they're building a house the other side. So I'm glad we didn't get that one because we would literally have been opposite a construction site and had it like right outside our window, which would not be great. Um, so it's just, yeah, things always just like work out how they're supposed to. And sometimes when it's difficult, there you can hear the construction. Um, 
sometimes it's just not meant to be and other times everything just fits together perfectly so yeah I'm glad it's all worked out Yeah, it's that one. That one. Do you like it? Yeah. It's like a cool material. So we're just in Canadian Tire looking at a toaster and a kettle. We've come back because sofa shopping was unsuccessful and it's been really annoying and frustrating. So we thought we'll make ourselves feel better by buying something and we're going to get the um, Toaster and kettle that we saw yesterday, and it's cheaper in Canadian Tire than online. So I think that's the plan, but we'll see. Keep. We're just going through the house now. Matt's on one, organising every single corner. It makes sense. Just say so that. Um, I don't get on one. You are, you are. What? Let me show you the house. This, my this friend. Is just sensible organisation. It is sensible organisation, but my friend, you are definitely on one. And in the bedroom, we've got all our camping gear, everything is out. So yeah, we're just doing a little bit of organising, so it's just one last thing to do when we do come to move. We bought our kettle, nice little kettle. Um, so our kitchen is white, so we thought this is like an off-white colour and it's kind of like Scandi vibes with the wood and it's really nice. So we've got the kettle and we also bought the oh, toaster which matches and it's got like a little bit of like the wood accent and um, these are really nice. So they're actually $20 cheaper to buy it in store than online at Canadian Tire. So that's why we did that. Um, and that's all we bought today. So we got a bit grumpy because we felt like we hadn't made much progress. So we were like, right, we're just going to buy the things that we want to we wanna have. So we'll just leave these in the house and keep these. So yeah, I guess tonight we're going to do some more organising, organising. I think we've decided. Huh? <laughs> I think we've decided which sofa we're going to go for because it's really annoying. Which because sofa we're going to go for? Which sofa we're going to go for? There you go. <laughs> Um, shut up. Which sofa are we going to go for? Sofa are we going to go for? Um, so yeah, I think we might go for the Ikea one that we found because this is the predicament at the minute. They are either very, very, very expensive or, or and or, they're not available for like two months. <laughs> you make making noise and I'm trying to film. <laughs> oh, making noise while I'm trying to clean. No. <laughs> Now you decide to clean. You never clean. <laughs> I'll just wait. It's fine. I'll just wait. The sofas that we found, a lot of them just aren't available. Like they're on back order, or some of them aren't available till like April. And I just can't not have a sofa for like six weeks. It will. It, I just can't do it. So anyway, we might just do the IKEA one. It's really nice. It's really affordable. Get some lovely cushions for it. Um, and um, we might just do that. So, that is the plan for now. Okay, you can make noise, go. <laughs> and we've also found a table in Structube that we really like. It's really nice. It's like, kind of like, um, how do you describe it? Wood. Wood. <laughs> it's a wooden table. But it's got some really nice black legs and we're gonna get a bench to go with it. And we found a rug yesterday, also at Ikea. And we found lots of different things, actually. So, now we just sort of need to like, Put it all into motion and um buy everything and order everything so that it's ready for when we move in and um yeah i'd say it's been quite productive a couple of days and it was nice to go see the house earlier today so we're just waiting for some quotes for the painters and um that's it really so um anyway i think i'm gonna wrap up this vlog here i will be doing lots of other vlogs like obviously doing moving vlogs maybe you like an empty house tour something like that so if there's any kind of videos that you want to see let me know in the comments down below and i will try to make it happen um i'll probably end up just doing like more sort of shorter vlogs and it's just yeah it's just a whole new exciting chapter and it's just been such a nice focus for us especially with everything that happened last year and everything over the last couple of months it's nice to just like 
channel our energy into something that's so exciting and so positive and it's just gonna be a really nice step for us and um yeah, I'm just really excited for a new neighbourhood and to be literally like we're like right next to the beach. There's like there's Jericho Beach which is super close and there's like an, the ocean which is like literally one block away and so they're all within like a five minute walking distance. It's just going to be really good. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed coming along with us and um, we'll continue to as I post lots more like moving videos and kind of furnish the house and um, all of that stuff. But please do subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!